Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I'm actually going to talk about makeup because today I'm doing a ranking video. I love to do this, but like it feels like I need more than like three or four powers from, from a brand to do a ranking video. Please let me know if you want to see what... If... Please, if you want to see me do ranking videos from brands that I don't have like five, six, seven pounds from, please let me know. But today we're going to do one of my absolute favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadow and that is, that is Kaleidos. And I have all their palettes except for the Deep Sea Luster. I wasn't like aware of Kaleidos when that was available, I think. I am on Kaleidos PR list. I have bought three of the palettes uh, my own and the rest I got on NPR just so you know but they haven't like told me to do a video about them or anything and these are my feelings right now <laughs> and this was a hard ranking and it has been more like the palettes I like the least but I still like but yeah, I think we just hop into this. So in last place, place, it's actually this one. This is the Futurism 7. Uh, this is Sashimi City. And I think this is a good palette. I have nothing against it, but it's not like my typical palette. And Kaleidos did this to the people that don't like colorful makeup. And as you see on me, I love colorful makeup. It's still a good palette. Um, but I don't reach for this like at all because when I do makeup I want to do something more colorful. It's a good palette but the color story is not my favorite. And in sixth... no. How many palettes do I even have? I got nine palettes from Kaleidos. Um, so in 8th place, <laughs> it's actually Futurism 6, Lunar Lavender. And this is a little of the same thing with this. Purple is not really my yes, but it's starting to be. But I think the two purple in these are kind of similar. I see a different on my eyes, but they are kind of similar. And I wish it wasn't too brown in this one. But other than that... It is a good palette. The one thing I think why Sashimi, Sh Sashimi City <laughs> Lunar Lavender was in the bottom is because the shimmers are more like sheer duochromes and I like more intense shimmers. But yeah, I think this is like a beginner friendly purple, pa purple palette. And... But like I love the packaging on this one. I don't know what it is but I just love the packaging. In next place is one of the Fuchsism palettes, and this is Electro Turquoise. I don't know what it is with this palette, but it just... I, I, I think like the brown is throwing me off. I know that some have like a problem with the orange. I don't, but it's the brown. And sometimes, this is one of the palettes from Kaleidos that I actually forget about how it looks. And I'm like, maybe I should use Electro Turquoise. And then I open it and I'm like, yeah, that's how it looks. I have done some looks with this. I don't know. It. Maybe I have done three videos. And I think that like all the looks I've done are really similar. But the shimmers in this are amazing and the orange is really really good but it's just the color story I don't vibe with this I love to use this together with other palettes but on its own I have a hard time to come up with a fun look maybe I am the problem and not the palette I don't know but it's so good maybe not just for me in next place, I put the Cyber Bronze. This was like the first more neutral palette they released. In this palette, is it, it 
exist two amazing shades. This red one, I used use this a lot. And also the silver one is such a good silver. But these three down here, the matte ones, I... Well, okay, when I reach for this palette, I reach for the shimmers because they are amazing. This shimmer is also really, really good. And I love how it looks. But if it would have been like maybe more, I don't know, more reddish to this, maybe matte red as well, or like in more to the orange, orange red, coal tone thing, <laughs> I would have ranked this higher, but I think the mattes in this one isn't what I want them to be. They're really good mattes, but the colors is not what I want them to be. But the shimmers, amazing. In a fifth place, I got Astro Pink, and this one, it's things I love about this and things I don't like about this. The thing I don't like about is that these two mattes down here are really, really similar. I would want maybe a lighter pink. I think that would have looked cool, but in this palette, like, this shimmer and this duochrome, amazing shadows. The thing I love to do with this palette is take the black and then put this one on top of it. I don't know if you can see, but it's... It's purple? I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a duochrome blue purple. It is amazing. I love it to put it over a dark dark shade and even on top of this one it looks amazing and this one is a really really nice pinkish cold tone shimmer so yeah I might would have ranked this higher I don't know but I, I love this one and I didn't think that this was going to be a palette that I really really loved from Kaleidos but I actually do in fourth place and it was now it was so hard but I took the escape pod and sometimes when I look at people talking about kale kaleidos it feels like I am the one that doesn't love the escape pod it looks like this maybe I should hold it like this I think I love that it's a bigger palette and I love the shimmers especially like these purple shimmers in this one and the greens are really amazing too but i would want like a darker colorful shadow but it is so many shades in these if you compare it to the six pans so it doesn't bother me that much that i miss a shade or two because i can use other shades but yeah, i don't know and one thing that also bothers me a little bit is it's, it's this shimmer. It's like the shimmers in the middle. And what is this doing here? But I think this is a really good palette. And I actually like that you can do like a completely natural look with this. And just maybe use these down here. And then you can do a really crazy colorful look if you want to. I think this is a fun palette. The shimmers are not as intense as in the Fusionism 6 pan palettes, but it is a really, really good palette. And I know some people have problems with the formula, but I don't. I like it, but yeah, it's in fourth place. And now, top three. This, I don't know if I have decided yet, but I think in place number three. Or is this place number two? No, I think this is third place. It's a sci-fi green palette. And I, this was the first one I used from Kaleidos. I fell in love with these two shimmers. They are amazing. They are the perfect, like, grungy, really opaque, amazing shimmers. I love them. And I love... This black one, it's so dark. It's one of the most darkest, most intense blacks I have. And I love to take the black and do something with one of the shimmers. 
it is just amazing and I also love this matte. It's mustardy, crunchy, cool. This is a grungy green palette and I love grungy and I love green. So this is my top three. Maybe my top two. I don't know but for, for today, right in this moment, this is place number three for me. And I guess you know which two palettes are left. And in runner-up, as runner-up, the runner-up is Vera Neon. And this is like a colorful dream. I love this. It has amazing shimmers. The mattes are so, so good. But the two shimmers in this palette, I love them. I love them both. The orange is such a cool one and the pink shimmer is super super nice and they have some dimension to them and they are not like only an orange shimmer or a pink shimmer and I just love the more colorful and I don't know why Kaleidos discontinued this one. First of all I think it's strange to name this Futurism 4 and then discontinue it. It's a hole <laughs> in this area and also this is amazing. This is a colorful dream. I love to pair this with other palettes as well if I want to pop off red, pop off yellow. It's so good. And I guess you know which palette that is left and I don't know if it's strange to take this as number one because when I ranked this I only used it twice. But at the same time, I have used all the other eight palettes from Kaleidos kind of much. And it is, of course, the Club Nebula. That is a collab with uh, Nielke Nyqvist. And this came up on the top because it is a bigger palette. You can do more things with this. And this has some real depth to it that I was missing in the escape pod and the thing Angelica has done with this that I I think this is like the most pleasing thing and one of my absolute things that I love with palettes it is when they are sorted in this way so the top row makes it will make an amazing look this row would make an amazing look and this row would make an amazing look I know that you might think that would like disturb your creativity, but for me, sometimes when I sit down and go to do a makeup look, I don't know what to do and then I love to have it like this. So that also makes it, makes me love it more. Um, another palette that I have that is like this is Moonspell from Luna Beauty. I love it. It's just so pleasing. I think I got a little bit like... Not OCD, but I like when things are in order, like this. In my home, no, but in <laughs> eyeshadow palettes, I love it. So I actually think this is my top palette from Kaleidos. The shimmers are, how many have I used? I've used three of them so far. Um, they are a little bit different and you can go and watch Anielka's video when she talks about this, but I really like it. I like that it's so light, it's so dark, it's so deep, and I also like that it's deep out here and uh, lighter, like here. So yeah, I guess this is my favorite palette from Kaleidos right at the moment. Maybe because it's new, maybe because... I don't know, but it's really good. So yeah, <laughs> that is all for this video. I really recommend Kaleidos as a brand and I, when I've got questions about which palette I think you should buy from Kaleidos, I always say buy the palette with the color story you like because you're not going to be disappointed with any of these palettes. So just buy the colors you want and uh, I think you will be happy. So I really hope you liked this video and if you want me to do ranking videos more, maybe from a brand when I only have three palettes, four palettes, please let me know. 
I like to talk about eyeshadow palettes because I just love eyeshadow palettes. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and if you have any Kaleidos palettes, please let me know which one is your favorite. Now you know mine, you know which one I don't like that much but I still like but maybe it's not, it's not my perfect palette. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!